ridge and lasso regression. Ridge and lasso regression are regularization techniques applied to linear regression to prevent overfitting by penalizing large coefficients. Ridge regression adds an L2 penalty, which is sum of squared coefficients, whereas lasso regression adds an L1 penalty, which is sum of absolute values of coefficients, which can lead to feature selection by shrinking some coefficients to zero. Let's go ahead and look at a simple implementation using Learn for both ridge and lasso regression. I'm going to jump into my editor and here we'll start with importing necessary libraries. First, from sklearn.linearmodel, import ridge and lasso. Now, this imports the ridge and lasso classes from Learn's linear model module. Ridge and lasso are types of linear regression models with added regularization, which is penalty terms, to prevent overfitting. Ridge uses L2 regularization, while Lasso uses L1 regularization. Next, we will from sklearn.model selection import train test split. This imports the train test split function, which is used to divide the data set into training and testing sets. This helps evaluate how well the model generalizes to unseen data. Next, from sklearn.metrics, import mean square error. This imports the mean square error function, which calculates the mean square error or MSE between the actual and the predicted values. Now, MSE is a common metric for evaluating regression models. A lower value indicates a better fit. Finally, we'll import numpy as np. This imports the NumPy library, which provides support for working with arrays and, num and numerical data. It is fundamental library for scientific computation in Python. Now let's go ahead and get the sample data. We're gonna use the same sample data that we used in the previous project. So it's X equal to NP array with the square feet and Y equal to NP array with the pricing. So X here defines the feature data X as a NumPy array where each element is a list representing the size of the house in square feet. Here X has a shape of 10 comma one, meaning there are 10 example rows with one feature. And then Y equal to NP dot array defines the target data Y as a NumPy array representing house prices corresponding to each item, each, each size in X. So these are all representation. Next step is to split the data into training and testing sets. This can be done using the train test split method. This splits the data into training and testing sets. We get X train and Y train, which is used to train the model. And we get X test and Y test used to test the model's performance. Now test size here is specified as 0.2, which specifies that 20% of data should be used for testing, while 80% will be used for training. So in our case, since we have 10 records, it will be eight and two. Next, we have random state equal to 42, which sets the random seed for reproducibility, ensuring that the data split will be the same each time the code is run. So next step is let's jump into ridge regression. Now for this, first I'm gonna say ridge model equal to ridge alpha 1.2. Now this initializes the ridge regression model. The alpha parameter controls the strength of the regularization with higher values applying a stronger penalty to larger coefficients. And alpha of 1.2 is often a good starting point. Next, ridge model dot fit X train, Y train. This trains the ridge model on the training data. The model learns the relationship between house size and price, fitting a line that minimizes error while applying the L2 regularization penalty. Next, we have ridge pred equal to ridge underscore model dot predict X test. This uses the trained ridge model to make predictions on the test set, which is X underscore test. The model outputs predicted prices based on house sizes in X test. Next, we have ridge MSE equal to mean squared error and we'll pass Y test and ridge pred. This calculates the mean squared error MSE 
between the actual values y test and the predicted values rich pred msc provides a measure of the model's accuracy with lower values indicating better performance next let's go ahead and print the ridge mean squared error this prints the msc for ridge ridge regression allowing you to assess how well the model performed on test data now next let's go into lasso regression so for this i'm going to say lasso regression equal to lasso alpha 0.1 which initializes a lasso regression model here alpha controls the l1 regularization strain with larger values increasing the penalty on the coefficients setting alpha equal to 0.1 applies a mild regularization so let's go next step is lasso model dot fit x train y train this trains the lasso model on the training data like ridge the model learns the relationship between house size and price but lasso may shrink some coefficients to zero effectively selecting features and reducing complexity lasso pred equal to lasso model dot predict x test this uses the trained lasso model to make predictions on the test set the model outputs predicted prices based on the house sizes in x test next step is lasso msc mean squared error and we pass y test and lasso pred this calculates the mean squared error between the actual prices y test and the predicted prices lasso pred msc indicates uh, the accuracy of the lasso model with lower values representing a better fit next finally we'll print the lasso this will print the msc for the lasso regression model allowing you to compare its performance with the ridge model now this code here provides a practical example of implementing ridge and lasso regression for predicting house prices and comparing their means uh, mean square error to understand the impact of regularization on model performance so let's go ahead and run this project i'm going to say python ridge land lasso regression py run it and it will give me the ridge mean square error is this much and the lasso mean square error is this much so you can compare these two numbers i mean it the, with the data set that we have since we have only 10 fields it might not be the best but if you have a bigger data set it will give you a better idea of which one to use either ridge or lasso or maybe both so i hope this helped and if you have any questions on implementing or had any issues let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you